Hello everyone, I am Samiksha and the topic that we are discussing now is sitting arrangement. Okay, now basically you would say, oh we have already come across sitting arrangement questions, isn't it? We have done the chapter of puzzle test, we have done a question of sitting arrangement there. But there could be other varieties as well. Now what could those varieties be? Sitting arrangement basically is position based arrangement of people. These could be linearly it could be circularly these are the basic two types but again when it comes to circular arrangement it could be those people are sitting around a hexagonal table or a square table or a rectangle table so which is why we are doing sitting arrangement as a separate individual chapter okay so what we will do is let's see the different types one on one and see how i am solving those questions because it's not about the question it's about the approach that you apply to get this question and these are some you know these are kind of lottery questions why because you solve one sitting arrangement puzzle you have around four to five questions getting followed to it so you devote four or five minutes you get four or five questions correct okay so it's easier way of scoring marks so without wasting time now let's move with the different categories here comes our first category that is arrangement in linear pattern or I would say a linear sitting arrangement question. Okay. Now, what is the data saying? First of all, reading the question correctly and carefully is the most important point. So it says 12 people are sitting in two parallel rows containing six people each. All right. In such a way that there is equal distance between edges and person. Row number one has P to V, all of them facing south. And row number two has A to F, all of them facing south north okay so first of all what we'll do we'll make two rows this is our row number one where everybody is facing south and who are those p q r s t and v we'll have to figure out in which order they are sitting okay and row number two one two three four five and six this is a row where everybody is facing north and what are those guys a b c d e and f Okay, now what you have to do? You have to place those people according to the data they have given, but be careful. So, what are they saying? A sits third to the right of D. So, there is D and third to the right. Now, these guys are the ones who are facing now. So, A sits third to the right, first, second, and this is A. So, between D and A, there are two people. Now, there could be multiple cases over here, right? So, let's see. We cannot directly jump on to and write down them here. Further, they say, neither A nor D sit at the extreme ends. So, this is not A. This is not D. Not A, not D. So, if you are visualizing a case like, you know, D, then two people and then A. Or vice versa. Impossible. Same at the other end. We cannot do it. Then, what else are they telling us? Neither do A nor D sit at the extreme end. T faces D. Now, what I will do is, I will try to fix down a case in this. That is, if I cannot start the sequence with D, let's take the second position to be D and see what happens. D, then two places in between and then A. Okay. Now, is other case possible? If I try to place D at this place, 1, 2 and A would come at the extreme end. So, that won't fit the case because A also cannot come at the end. So the only case for D and A is what I have drawn. Now further, T faces D. So this is T. Further, V does not face A. So the place opposite to A is not V. And V does not sit at any extreme end. So first and last position is also gone away. V is not an immediate neighbor of T. So V is also not coming adjacent to T. So what is the only place left for T? The fourth place. Next, B sits at one of the extreme ends. Now, B is sitting at one of the extreme ends, either first or either last. We'll have to figure out where. And only two people sit between B and E. So, I know B is sitting at an extreme end. Two people sit between B and E. So, this is one case possible. Or it could be if B is sitting at the last, two people between B and E, it could be E. Okay, now, E does not face V. So, have we ever placed V first of all? No, we haven't. Uh, well, yes, we have to place V over here. That was a typo from my end. It's not T, but it is V. Now, they are saying that E does not face V. So, this is not E. So, if this is not E, 
the cases if i have to place this case let's say b and e they have two people in between them so i could try something like you know b at the first place 1 2 and this as e but what would happen then e would be facing v which is not possible so b at the first place not possible so what is the other place i can place b at the end b and then two people in between this would be e and this case completely fits it and it satisfies so we have used the second case as well now what is the next part two people sit between r and q and r is not an immediate neighbor of t so this is not r okay and if two people sit between r and t r and q v r can be where either over here or either over here that is last and second last position okay next part still i have confusion we'll have to figure out what is the next part r is not an immediate neighbor of t so r is not an immediate neighbor of t fine so r can be either at this place or this place further c does not face v c does not face v so i can see c will be the first person and what is the letter left the letter left is f so i have successfully placed the people who are facing now now let's talk about the south facing block we know p is not an immediate neighbor of r okay now what are the points left out we have placed t we have placed v we are left with placing p q r and s now this was the point that we ignored what was that two people sit between r and q so if two people sit between r and q the situation is like this correct now what did they say r is not a neighbor of t so if r is not a neighbor of t let me try in the reverse order okay if i place r over here two people between r and q r and q so one and two the place for q would be this but already t is sitting at there sitting at that place second place so that is not possible so other case i could try is r one and two this guy becomes q able to place right and about p what we have p is not a neighbor of r so p cannot come at this place so where can p come p can come at the start and then the letter left we can place it at the place of second letter is in between v and r that should be s so this is our complete order for this linear arrangement and now once the placement is done all you have to do is answer the question so what does it say who among the following sit at the extreme ends so it's either pr or it's either pc and which among these do we have in the option we have pr in the option so our answer would be option c idea clear everyone so this is how you're supposed to approach a linear arrangement question okay let's move now to the second type where we are making them sit around a close path now for a close path generally it is circular arrangement but we have taken a different question where for this question it's a square table so let's see so they say eight people are seated around a square table so let's draw a square table all right now how are they sitting two on each side so one two three four five six and seven eight and everybody they haven't told us whether they are facing towards the center or away from the center so it's a good practice taking everyone facing towards the center it's a most convenient one so you won't have confusion in your left and right okay so first part there are three lady members and they are not seated next to each other fine j is between l and f now there's a person j who is between l and f did they tell you who is to the left of j and right of j no they just said j is between l and f so can't i say there could be one more case possible where i'll just shuffle the neighbors because i'm not sure about who is to the left and right and whenever i have confusion as i said what would i do i will simply make cases and run with those cases simultaneously so let's put j over here and f on the top and l on the bottom okay and rest all cases would be same everybody facing towards the center now what is the next data say j is between l and f next g is in between i and f so if i have f over here this will be i this would be g and in this case if this is f on the top i'll have i and this would be g next part h a lady member is second to the left of j so this is j second to the left first and second this will be h and h is a lady member now in case number two that i have drawn okay if you check 
second to the left of j g is already sitting over there so how will i place h over there it's not possible that means this case number 2 is wrong so that means the order of l and f is what l is to the left of j and f is to the right of j this is the correct one okay so see one case got eliminated so i need not worry about ki at the last whether the case that i have got is correct or wrong no i have made it 100% accurate because i've tried making cases and that is what i always suggest always make cases wherever there is whenever there is confusion okay now further f a male member is seated opposite e f a male member so f is a male and seated opposite e a lady member so e is a female next there is a lady member between f and i between f and i i have g so that means g also is a lady member and if you read carefully the question states what there are exactly three ladies there are three lady members that means all the rest of them are boys so i l j f i and the letter that is left that is k they are all males now what is the question who among the following are the three lady members who are they it is g e and h so g e and h check for the option first is e h and j e g and j g h and j no so the correct answer is none of these this is g e and h idea clear everyone this was our second arrangement where it was kind of like a square table so you would see when it comes to square or rectangle or hexagonal or circular the approach is similar only thing is what the placement of the people would be different that is here when it comes to square you know the people would sit around the sides or they'll sit around the corners and the difference with square circle is what we don't have any start or end point so they'll just lie along the circumference okay that's the only difference otherwise the way you're doing a question is one and the same so what we'll do we'll just see one more question of circular arrangement that would give you an idea about how the placement is changing the way we are doing the question is same so let's mark so there are seven people a to g sitting around a circle so i'll draw a circle Now problem number one is what I cannot allot the places. Like for square, you had the sides, you had the corners. Here there is no side corner, so we'll have to go with the question flow and accordingly mark those people. Okay, so what does it say? C sits third to the left of D, and both are facing the center. And one more point over here, which I've missed, is what five out of these six, pe seven people, they are facing the center. So that means two of them will be facing away from the center. So this is a question where there's a mixed match. few people facing towards the center few facing away from the center we'll have to be careful so c sits third to the left of d and they have given you d and c both are facing towards the center so let's say this is d three places third to the left so 1 2 and 3 this place will be given to c and c is also facing the center next so if you see first of all i've placed four people and there are seven so i have to place three more so how would they be 1 2 and 3 And that is how I have split my circle into seven parts. Now further, E is not an immediate neighbor of D or C, so this cannot be E. As well as these places cannot be E. So what is the place left for E? Obviously this guy. Next, the one sitting exactly between D and F is facing opposite to center. Okay, so there is D and F, and somebody is sitting exactly in between. Okay, now initially exactly in between, I would mean what? the number of people between them is equal okay so there could be one person or there could be how many there could be four person likewise so just check there is one person sitting exactly in between d and f you have d over here right so to place f there have to be even number equal number of members to both of its sides only then i can say it's sitting exactly in between the mid point okay like you would say one or it could be 3 or it could be 5 if i go with 4 what would happen there is no center place coming up so you cannot go with that case okay now if i try to the right hand side of d there are three people available so mid position was this where e is already placed so to the right of d i cannot place now let's try to the left of d so if this is d and if i place f over here there is exactly one place in between left right so this case fits there's no other case possible because then i'll have to go all the way around and again c is occupied e is already occupied the place where exactly in between cases would exist now the one sitting in between d and f they say is facing opposite to the center 
So this person is facing away from the center. Who is that person? We have to find. Next, G is sitting third to the right of A and G is facing the center. G is sitting third to the right of A. 1, 2 and this is G. Okay. Now first of all between A and G there has to be two people. That is what I will have to take care. So if I try A at this place. 1 and 2 all the way clockwise I am not able to place. Obviously even anti-clockwise I am not able to play. The other place that is vacant is here. If I place A over here left side that is you know no sorry if A is facing away from the center for this part right side if I see 1 and 2 I can place G at this place possible but to the left side if you see again 1 and 2 this place is taken by E. So towards the left of A nothing can be done towards right of A yes G can be placed over here. So this is G and we know what about G? G is third to the right of A yes and is facing the center. So G is also facing the center. Then one of B's neighbor is facing opposite to the center. Now one place that is left is this one. The one between D and E. We can give it to B. And what are they saying? One neighbor of B is facing opposite to the center. So D is already facing the center. So who is going to face away from the center? It has to be E. So I have got all the people placed. And I have got the directions as well. Now the point, this point. Five of them facing the center. And two facing away from the center. I am going to use this to get the direction in which the remaining people are sitting. So you can see A and E. They are facing away from the center. That means rest of everybody will face towards the center. Got the point? Now here, which of the following pair represents the person facing opposite to the center? So who are they? It's A and E. So your correct option is option C. Idea clear everyone? So these are all the types that you will have to come across the chapter of sitting arrangement. Sitting arrangement is basically into two types only, linear and circular. But in circular there could be like the shape of the table, the shape of the structure around which that closed path you are sitting is different. It might change square, hexagon, pentagon, triangle, anything. And another thing that could change is what? Them facing towards the center and away from the center. So in all these cases everything uh, is easy. All that you have to remember is what? Wherever there is confusion, make cases and solve the question. Okay? And obviously, practice more questions of these so you can master this topic. So that's it with the topic everyone. Thank you.